Hello there. Well, it looks as though it's going to stay cold across northern Europe through this week and stormy through the Mediterranean. An area of low pressure moving away from Spain will bring some rain to the Balearics and eventually that will spill its way steadily eastwards into Italy. And so some of it really quite heavy. Eventually, as it pushes its way across from Italy towards the Balkans, we'll see some snow. Further north of that, it's fine. It's settled. There'll be some sunshine, but it's not particularly warm with it. Now, we could see some snow to higher ground across Turkey as well, scattering of showers elsewhere, quiet across mainland Greece, but here's that stormy weather across uh, the Balkans, Italy, and just moving away from Corsica and Sardinia. Better, but cooler across Spain and Portugal. The real cold air on Monday sitting across France, Germany, up into the low countries, Scandinavia struggling to see temperatures uh, climbing above freezing, a similar story for Moscow as well. Now, as we move into Tuesday and that weather front sinks its way south and bumps into the cold air, there could be some snow across Paris, the low countries and into Germany for a time. That's going to gradually sweep its way steadily south and east. So the snow will clear away, but it stays cold in Paris throughout the week, as you can see. But elsewhere, uh, the showers continue across much of Rome. Now, across to Eastern Europe, still no signs of any warm-up, particularly in Moscow, temperatures way below freezing throughout the week. Hello there. Let's take a look at what to expect in North America. Well, it has been in the US a holiday weekend and we've seen some stormy weather from this area of cloud here. It brought significant snow, it brought some freezing rain and some heavy rain further south. It does look as though behind that system we are going to see some bitterly cold air developing. It is a little bit quieter though behind another weather front pushing in through the Pacific Northwest which will bring some rain and some snow with any elevation and on the leading edge. So that's going to be the the story as we go through Sunday and into Monday. Let's take a look at both the west and the east coast in a little more detail. So not looking too bad across Canada. It is bitterly cold here as you'd expect really for January. We will see a little bit more in the way of snow perhaps uh, to parts of Oregon into California for Tahoe, for Mammoth. Those resorts will see some snow as well. Further south it's a little bit drier, sunnier and warmer as you'd expect temperatures into the mid-teens. Now across the east coast that's where we had that significant snow moving off now into the east of Canada but the bitterly cold air is starting to kick in will be dry but there will be a lot of lying snow we've seen uh, at least 30 to 50 centimeters and that rain has cleared away but even the cold air is sinking as far south as Florida as well so look at the difference between Monday and Tuesday minus 10 in New York on Monday minus one on Tuesday Hello there. I'm going to start off with a little bit of positive news because in uh, central parts of South America, we've seen some fairly disruptive weather just recently. Northern Argentina, Uruguay, southern Brazil. But you can see on the satellite picture, it's a quieter story and things will warm up as we go through this week. Still seeing some showers close to Rio de Janeiro and some heavier showers, obviously, in the Amazon basin. But more significant rain up through Sunday and into Monday across the southern tip of Chile. Now, the showers, some of them will be quite heavy across parts of Colombia, Venezuela. Venezuela down into Ecuador. We'll see a scattering of showers to the north and west of Brazil, one or two into Rio, but we should start to see those ease this week. There's that quieter story, a little bit of fair weather cloud, but temperatures will improve and we'll see some sunshine coming through. And there's the rain with any elevation. There'll be some snow as well down through southern Chile. So this is the city forecast for the next five days. You can see it's an improving weather picture, really. Plenty of dry weather, temperatures up to 37 in Rio de Janeiro through the middle of the week. A little bit of fair weather cloud across Mexico, a scattering of showers and the tail end of a weather front that's moving through the eastern seaboard of the US, perhaps just affecting uh, parts of Cuba, maybe Jamaica. There could be a scattering of showers as well as that frontal system trails through. Let's take a look at the city forecast. So generally speaking, it's fine, settled and sunny as it should be at this time of year. Continue to see a few more showers into Havana. Hello there. We've had some heavy rain across Southeast Africa in recent days. There's more to come. The satellite picture picking up the pretty lumpy looking cloud. That's where the significant showers will be. And it's going to be fairly persistent, I suspect, uh, through the next few days. May well produce some localised flooding across Madagascar, Mozambique, also into Zimbabwe. Not unusual, obviously, at this time of year. A weather front starts to threaten towards Cape Town as well. 
perhaps Monday night into Tuesday. And at the same time, we've got some stormy weather conditions through the Mediterranean. Might just brush with the far north of the African coastline and affect here as well. So this is the story for the next few days. As you can see, a good deal of dry, sunny weather. That weak weather front might produce a few isolated showers into Cape Town, maybe not. Now into Khartoum, that's where the heat is, still into the high 30s over the next few days. We see a few showers through the Mediterranean affecting Casablanca as well. Some stormy weather across Turkey with some snow with elevation, a little bit of fair weather cloud in the Middle East across Kuwait, down in, in Iraq and Kuwait. And we may well see with a localised Shamal a little bit of lifted dust from time to time, but nothing particularly significant. It looks fine and settled from Saudi Arabia further south. So the city forecast illustrates this really quite beautifully, as you can see, lots of blue sky and lots of sunshine to look forward to. Hello there. Plenty to talk about with the weather in South Asia at the moment. Let's start off with the satellite picture and you can see most of the weather action both to the south and also up into the north where significant snow very much a feature. There is the potential for some rain just to fringe with Sri Lanka. As you can see from the satellite picture there, it's pretty close. It might just brush with the southeastern fringes. But generally speaking, across central and southern areas of India, it's largely fine and quiet. Fog has been an issue and it's been pretty cold through the night and some of that fog slow to clear in places but further north and west it's all about the snow so if we look at central asia it's cold but not as cold as it can be in kazakhstan at the moment uh, there's a fair amount of cloud as well now we've seen some snow moving across afghanistan pakistan but also into northwest india affecting jammu and kashmir and also as you can see across the himalayas now there's been half a meter of snow and there's further snow potentially to come further south then there's the threat of uh, potential for some rain, but only a slim chance into Sri Lanka. A lot of fair weather cloud across northeastern states. But our major cities stay fine and quiet with a lot of sunshine around. We could see a few scattered showers into Islamabad slowly easing and the showers continue to threaten into Colombo. But Tashkent, well, not as cold as it has been with a good deal of dry, sunny weather in the outlook. Hello there. We've had plenty of snow in Japan in recent days. There's still some yet to come, particularly to the north in Honshu, where we've probably seen over a metre of snowfall, and you can see it quite clearly on our pressure chart there. Elsewhere, things are largely fine and quiet, so it does look as though we will see some heavier rain into the Philippines and a few showers along that east coast close to Vietnam. But let's take a look a little more detail. Some snow showers still to clear away from the north across Japan, the Korean Peninsula and into China. China, uh, blue sky and uh, sunshine here, but chilly. Now we'll see a few scattered showers into the southern half of China and Vietnam, more extensive showers into Malaysia and the Philippines. But the threat of snow will ease through Tokyo and uh, conditions certainly improve from Wednesday onwards. Let's take a look now what to expect across Australia, where it's been all about the heat in recent days. Over the weekend, the heat transferred a little more to central and western areas. That's still going to be the story perhaps into Monday, but it does look as though the heat is set to return to the south and east as we go through this week. Different story across the South Island of New Zealand in particular, a cool southwesterly breeze here, so a fresher feel and a few scattered showers to come as well. This is our city forecast for the next few days. As you can see, the heat in Adelaide set to build again.